Welcome back for another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is for Illustrator and um, it's just a tip about how to adjust colors which I always kind of assumed everybody knew but I ran into somebody who was kind of blown away by this tip so I figured I would share it just in case you were one of the people who hadn't heard of it before. Um, in Illustrator if you're working with a color uh, and let's just say that this is the color here, this blue, um, if you're adjusting the value and trying to get a different color, a lot of times you'll play with these sliders here of, you know, red, green, and blue RGB, or you'll slide around in the hue bar down here to find your color. Um, the part of this which blew this other person away was that you can actually flip the slider here in the corner from RGB to HSB, which is similar to um, CMYK or whatever in terms of color mode, what this is is actually hue, saturation, and brightness. So if you had landed on the shade of blue that you wanted, but you wanted it a little less saturated, you could actually just pull the saturation saturation slider down um, to get a less saturated version of that color, or you could slide just the hue s slider here to get other colors that are all going to be in the same saturation and brightness values as that blue. Um, and this allows you kind of that Photoshop level of control, whereas here um, you might have a document and then you hit, you know, control U and want to adjust the saturation of it that way. Um, same sort of thing is capable in Illustrator, you just have to use the HSB sliders in the corner. Uh, I use this a lot, um, like even in an instance like this with this cake where I would pick kind of this maroon purplish reddish color here for the cake but then for the deeper layers here I really just want this color but I want it a little bit darker so I would pick that color and then just go to HSB and pull the brightness back a little bit and I'm going to get a darker version of that color so this tip helps you really quickly sort of family your colors and kind of explore colors in the color palette that are all going to be similar to each other um, without having to you know, go in here and really pick, try to find the color that you're looking for when you can do it all from the HSB color palette. So that's the tip. If you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, <coughs> YouTube, or Twitter, and hope it was helpful.